clone block in Scratch 2.0 lets you design weapons that fire multiple bullets. You can download the cannon and bullet sprites from the link below. I'll show you how to program the cannon in another tutorial, but for now, let's focus on the bullets. First, open the events palette and drag a start block to your work area. Also, grab an event block for when space key pressed. We don't want to see the bullet before it's fired, so go to the looks palette and add a hide block to the bottom of the start block. Next, we'll put the bullet in the cannon. Open the motion palette, grab the block that says go to mouse pointer, and drop it under the key press block. Then, open its drop down menu and select the cannon sprite. To make the bullet fire in the correct direction, add a point in direction block to the bottom of the script. Program it to point in the same direction as the cannon, with a block from the sensing palette. The block you need will say X position of. Open the first drop down menu and select direction. The second drop down menu should already say cannon. Now that our bullet is in the cannon and pointed in the same direction as the gun, we can program it to fire. Switch back to the motion palette. Move the bullet to the end of the cannon, switch its costume to the basic bullet, and show it. That gets the bullet out of the gun, so we just need to program it to keep moving. Since we don't have any targets yet, we'll program the bullet to move forward until it hits the edge of the stage. Start with a repeat until block from the control palette. Then, from the sensing palette, insert the touching block and choose edge from the drop-down menu. Add a move block to this script as the action to be repeated. Finally, we'll make the bullet explode when it hits the edge of the stage. Open the looks palette, switch the costume to the exploding bullet, wait for a tenth of a second, and hide the bullet. Now test your work by clicking on the green flag. When you press the space key, the bullet will shoot out of the cannon and explode against the edge of the stage. But there's a problem. Right now you only have one bullet. You can fire it as many times as you like, but you have to wait until it's hit something between each shot. Fortunately, Scratch 2.0 offers an easy solution to this problem with the new Create Clone block. Detach your script from the Key Press event block by pulling it down just a bit. Replace it with a create clone of myself block from the control palette. Then connect a when I start as a clone block to the bullet's main script. Finally, replace the hide block with a delete this clone block. When you test your project, you'll be able to fire as many bullets as you like, as fast as you like, by pressing the space key.